Good morning, everyone. It's car show morning, and uh, my voice is like, because I just woke up and I really don't want to be out here. Uh, <laughs> it's time to get Eleanor to the car show, and we're hoping it's going to be safe. This is the part of the car show day where it's nerve wracking for me. People keep asking if I'm excited. No, I'm not excited. Uh, it's always like a, a jittery nervousness because not just about the safety of this car, but also to make sure that the car show happens the way it's supposed to. As you know, I created the entire software suite for the registration and judging system. So the entire car show is dependent on me. And if that failed for any reason at all, well, that's my fault. The whole car show bombs. I imagine there's probably ways we can get around it, but people have learned to be dependent on my software. And, uh, well, anyway, I've been doing it five, six years, and we haven't had a, a failure yet. I mean, a little glitches here and there, but no big failures, so I think we're probably going to be okay. I probably should just shut up. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to get Eleanor out of the garage here. We're going to get her hooked up. I can't drive her. Nope. Never got that engine running. We just ran out of time. But uh, leaky, likey, comment, subscribe for all my efforts, because really, I put a lot of time and effort into trying to get this thing together for the car show, and... Uh, well, stay tuned. We're going to roll that intro, and uh, hopefully we get this car over there safely, and uh, we won't have any other problems today. A little cold and chilly out here, but it's probably going to be a nice day later today. Probably even a little too hot. I'm almost willing to guarantee you it's just going to be a little too hot. That's just the way it happens here in Florida. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back right after the intro. Oh man, six years in the making. Here she is. First time at a show in her beautiful paint. Early morning light. You can see clearly I'm cast casting a shadow on there and got my sponsors. Not really, but these are the people that have helped me. One beautiful car. Oh man. Got the engine in there, those tail lights. I put them in the engine compartment. It's already confused people. Yeah, so they're probably just gonna come out. <laughs> we'll just take them out of there. <laughs> and my dirty yet faithful tow truck, Big Blue, the 350Z. Yeah, she does it every time. Gets every car anywhere I've ever needed to go because got a hitch. Hell yeah. As you know, I work this show. I handle all of the judging and registration systems as it was all built by me, and because of this show's attendance was record setting for our club with 210 cars, 77 more than last year. I found myself busier than I would ordinarily be at one of our shows and found little to no time to record much for video. So if you came to the show to see me or to meet me, well I'm sorry I missed you. I was there and even B was there, but I had my head buried in paperwork so I didn't even get to see her. We're all going to make some adjustments next year to make things easier on all of us, so that way we can enjoy more of the show as we end anticipate even further growth. If you'd like to join us, please see our website, rareairvw.com, for more information about us and our car show. You can even find out our show results there along with pictures. Yes, pictures! Not too many car shows put on organized results with photos on their websites. This sets us apart, so please have a look at my work and visit our website. Once again, rareairvw.com. But I'm glad to say that we pulled off another successful show. We're all impressed by the record setting numbers, so thanks again to everyone who volunteered and ran the show, to everyone that entered the show, and to all that came to visit. Thank you again so much. Looking forward to next year. Hey kids, we're back and we're ending the 26th annual Rare Air Volkswagen show, and guess what? Yeah, you might have guessed right. I won a trophy, and I won first place in my category, which is first place in progress. Why in progress? Well, the car's not done. There's no glass, there's barely any interior, so I did the best I can and rolled out what you got here. But you know what? The show's not over yet. We got something else coming here, because guess who else showed up? We got Rob. He showed up, and Rob just happens to be carrying my other trophy. What's the trophy say, Rob? It says best paint. And I think that's pretty well deserved. Yes. What do you think? Pretty well deserved. <laughs> they got a little buddy down in South Florida get some recognition for that. Oh man, Earl Classic Car Creations, duckshit.net forward slash CCC will take you directly to his YouTube page. You need to subscribe to him. This trophy isn't just mine. This trophy is also Earl's and the men that have helped him out at his shop. Um, just, just wow. I mean, I don't know what else to say other than just wow. Yeah. And, and I think it was very well deserved. I mean, there were a lot of great cars here, but to be honest with you, 
Earl's paint job, oh, a yeah. little bit partial to it. Yeah, I could find a floor, and everybody else is just little, little. Oh, some man. people really amazing. Some great vehicles here. But man, it was it's an awesome show today. This thing is uh, just incredible. And and uh, you got some stuff going on with your car, too, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Let's see what you got there. Let me take this thing oh, away from you. Oh, we're going to love mine. I did get second place in the Volts Rod. Show this. me your trophy. And, well, here's the license plate. Here's the trophy. And then, of course, because I... Second place I'm, Rod. I was uh, too busy to do anything and realized I didn't wash my car. I honestly won. <laughs> the Ugly Stick. The Ugly Stick Award. I don't know if you guys can see that, but for those of you that don't know, I actually made that this morning at about 5 a.m. I was out in the backyard welding, just trying to jam some junk together. Originally, it was a kind of a cock and balls kind of joke, and it had a little sign on it that said, I entered the Volkswagen show, and all I got was dick. <laughs> and, uh... While Bill vetoed that one, he says, no, we, we can't put that in the show. I'm like, oh, man, really? Of course, I wasn't making too big of a deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was just wondering if I could actually sneak it in, and no, no, they weren't going to have it. You just have to make a corkscrew one. A corkscrew one? that in without saying what it is. It'll be Boomer. <laughs> boomer. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're both double award, award winners today, and uh, Ooh, you back? That's, uh, that's just, um, yeah, that's too awesome. And I'm glad you managed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'm glad you managed to get a spot. <laughs> I'm glad you managed to get a spot right next to me too. So how about that? Yeah, that's amazing, especially considering what all oh, lady was. Got my ass felt up by that man in that car. Yeah, yeah. I'm pressing charges. <laughs> I got Biden. He even sniffed it. <laughs> I barely made it here, but man. Oh. Time I no, you made it in time. You're good. No, I want You're to good. A whole lot earlier. You got here when the show started. I was already a couple drinks in. So I've been sipping the bourbon today, and I started nice and early. <laughs> so many cars, you guys. You're going to have to check out RareRVW.com. Probably by the time you're watching this video, you'll get to see the show results for this year. And all the show entries have photographs. Because I built a beautiful system that also logs photographs for the show's uh, award winners. And you guys get to see everything that's in the show. And there were some really fantastic cars, including... Damn it, he left already. A 1956 Beetle in exactly the same color, but stock configuration. And he actually won Best of Show. I mean, that car was just gorgeous. And you know what else? When I pulled out of my street this morning, he was right in front of me. No kidding. I don't know why the hell there was another Beetle going through my neighborhood, especially considering he lives way over there in Navarre somewhere. But for some reason, he came through my neighborhood. Stalker. Yeah, he came through <laughs> the neighborhood, and uh, I turned out right behind him. Just, what, what are the chances of that? Just right behind him. And uh, I followed him all the way to the show. And when I got next to him with the Z, which is, uh, well, it's on the other side of the truck. But anyway, I was towing her behind the Z. I, I kind of got next to him and I beeped at him. He looked over at me and the Z. He's like, yeah, 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 hi. <laughs> and then I hit the gas, of course, because I got more horsepower to weight ratio, even towing a Beetle. <laughs> and then he had a little, you know, hey, wait a minute now. <laughs> it's amazing on, on the comparisons of it, but definitely the better paint. Yeah. I think that clear coat is really what set it apart. Yeah, that clear coat is just, uh, yeah, it's amazing. But man, I, I, geez, I can't believe he left. Oh, I'm a little upset about that. Everybody kept stopping me when I was trying to get something done earlier, but that's just the way it goes. Signing off. Well, we hurried to get Eleanor home as soon as we could. And tried to beat the sunset, but you know, with the way things go in this car, we're more likely delayed rather than being on time. So it's not a big surprise that she didn't arrive home until it got dark. But she did arrive home safely without a single scratch on her, and everything has just been wonderful today. 210 cars at this car show, uh, a new record for us. Our record was last year at 133, which impressed us, but this year, 210 is a, you know, just a massive increase of 58%. If we see another 58% increase next year, we'll have over 300. So just put that into perspective. If you'd like to join us next year, hit up rarerevw.com. You can register your car online right now. Our event will be on the 21st of October 2023. And, uh, well, I hope to see you guys there. Otherwise, I'll leave you guys with a montage and slideshow of the remaining cars that are here in the car show. So I hope you guys enjoy. Again, linky, likey, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to pluck the dingle bellies to get updates every time of the video. Check out DuckShit.net for all my different social media links. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next week with more updates on Eleanor. That's right. We're going to pull her all apart again. And we're going to get that engine running once and for all. You heard it here. Thanks, guys. See you then.